Now we're gonna go over Achilles tendon tear, basically. If you're gonna rupture Achilles tendon, there's two tests that I really recommend you do. The first one I think most people are the most aware of, and it's called your Thompson test. And if you guys know what the Achilles um, helps do, it is your insertion, right, for your gastroc and your soleus. These muscles do plantar flexion. And so when you squeeze their calf, it's the same as them trying to actively contract these muscles. So notice her foot moves into plantar flexion some when I squeeze this muscle. And so if, if there's a tear here, now these guys are no longer attached to the calcaneus. So what would happen is I would squeeze and and her foot wouldn't move. And so this not moving, going into plantar flexion, would be considered a positive test. Now she's actively holding it into dorsiflexion. Those people would not be actively holding it into dorsiflexion. They would be completely relaxed. But again, you compare bilaterally and one side would move really nice into plantar flexion and the other side either wouldn't move as much because you don't have to fully tear, right? When we talk about strains and sprains, there's grades one, two, and three. So depending upon the amount of damage, you may or may not be able to move somewhat into plantar flexion. The second test that people I don't think are quite as familiar with is the Maddles test. And this is just an active test that the patients do and you would wanna stand on the side of them so that way you can visualize what's happening at their ankle. But they would actively flex their knees and you're going to look at the angles of their feet. And notice both of hers are held somewhat into plantar flexion and that is a normal thing because her Achilles tendon and her triceps surae are all intact. But if she did this and her ankle was in neutral or in even some form of dorsiflexion, that would be a positive sign that the Achilles tendon had been torn or ruptured in some way, which was what is causing them to come into that. And notice the other foot, which the unaffected side, would still be in plantar flexion. So you'd be looking and comparing the positions of both of the ankles.